Okay, y'all, welcome to today's video. We are at my rehearsal dinner. We just did the rehearsal on the stage. Uh, everybody keeps asking me if I'm nervous. To me, I'm just, I'm, I'm comfortable. I feel good. I feel like it's right. Uh, you know, this marriage is being done uh, for me because of morals, because of uh, values, because of work ethic, because uh, I love her. It's she's a she's a true life partner, and uh, everything just feels natural. So I'm just excited tonight because we've got all of our friends and family together. We're over here at my house in my motorcycle shop, and we're gonna have a beautiful dinner. So why don't you all take a look at the party? Welcome to wedding day. We had a lot of fun last night. Luckily, I cut it off early enough that I feel pretty good today. Uh, my nerves are calm, I feel solid. I'm not too worried, I'm not too stressed. Although I probably should be because there's a lot of madness that still needs to be done in just about three hours and we got a ways to go. So I've got some friends here from uh, Antlers, Oklahoma, the locals that I brought in. They got a little antique store there uh, right downtown and I get a lot of my antiques and stuff around the campground in my house from them. And I always love the way they decorate, so I asked them if they'd come out. I think they're doing a great job so far, but there's still quite a bit to go. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this. I think that I need a staple gun and some string. I think I need to make a zigzag across here to be able to sit these in, like rope. That's Brandy, that's one of Ashley's uh, oldest friends, and uh, she's helping us figure out these decor and the designs. It's, it's crazy, man. We're all kind of figuring out as we go, but I think everybody just really wants it to be beautiful. So this is kind of where the family's going to be sitting. We've got about 50 chairs for our, for our immediate family, and just some old logs and stumps that we cut off the grounds to make pillars. I think it looks pretty good. So the family will be sitting up there, and then we've got some extra seats here, which I thought are pretty cool, too. We just used some hay bales and some uh, big planks that we milled off of our sawmill. All in all, I think there's not a bad Bad view in the house. Ah. This is my big sister Trisha. I have two. What are you working on? What are you making? Uh, we're making a um, your picture. Oh, look at that! Uh -huh. Display. Here. Oh man, thank you. That's beautiful. I love, love it. That's the best picture. That is a good picture. It is a good picture. I don't think I've seen a bad picture of you all though. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> Ashley's over there, but uh, you know, it's wedding day, so we're not going to bother her just yet. We did this. Uh, just some pallets. Just some pictures of us. Got some picnic tables out there we'll use. Our bar over here. We'll have kegs and full bar, beer, wine. And my buddy Doc, you guys may have seen him in some of my past videos. We've done rides through Mexico and uh, he did some off-road riding with me. He has started a charity called Blessed Possibilities, all about veterans. So that bar is a cash bar that will be 50% uh, of the proceeds will go to his charity and 50% to the bride and groom. This is uh, where Ashley and I will be sitting. That'll be the head table. We got friends from all over. Look at you're a beautiful flower man, Greg. Thank you. You're doing a fine job. I love it. Greg, you did all these? I mean, you're really good, Greg. What do you think? It's a special day for two special people. We're going to get it done in time? We're against the clock. Everybody is scrambling to get this done, so I'm going to cut it right here. We'll check back in uh, after it's all done and hopefully y'all like the way it looks. Okay, 
okay, a uh, 30 minute check-in before the wedding. It's officially six o'clock. I'm supposed to be on stage at 6.30. I'm a little nervous, a little excited. It's gonna be beautiful. I got my sister with me. What's up, Tara? Hey. All the way from South Carolina. Bluffton, South Carolina. Bluffton, South Carolina, and her husband, Ronnie, who has, uh... Ronnie, how long have I known you? You've uh, known me for too long. You know what I mean? <laughs> what does, is no, he, is 19, 1992. Is I mean. Ronnie trying to get rid of me? No, <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. You're not gonna get rid of me. All right, we're gonna go do this. My mom's over there, almost ready. Dan, you ready? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. It's a video. It's a video? It's a oh. video. Yeah, I'm just asking if you're ready for tonight. I am ready. Good. I am ready. Good. I'm excited. It's going to be a great night. And my mother. Hi, Getting everybody. Ready. <laughs> you're looking beautiful, Mom. Thank you, sweetie. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And Rudy, look at this. This is Rudy. Huh? Who's that? Rudy, what are you doing? That's Scooter's son. Okay, so originally, I was going to take this war horse and ride it to the stage uh, for my wedding, but I messed up. I uh, parked it with fuel in it and it ruined the whole fuel system and it's old and the parts are hard to get, meaning they take a long time. And of course I waited to the last minute to bring it into my friends over at South Main Iron. And so we just weren't able to get the parts in time, but I still can't imagine doing a wedding without riding into it. So I gotta say, if I'm gonna wear a suit, which I don't ever do, this is probably a pretty good bike to ride while I'm in a suit. I just got some things done to it, some wheels and some blacked out parts, and I think it goes well with my suit. As Ashley ascended down the stairs of the treehouse to approach the stage where we were about to say our vows, I felt overwhelmed with joy and contentment. I knew that moment that I was 100% doing the correct thing. With this ring, I promise to be your loving and I invite them to now pour some of their sands to celebrate and acknowledge the importance of reading. Let's make me It was important for Ashley and I to include Brady in our ceremony. After all, I've had the pleasure of watching him grow from just three years of age. And I'm excited to have a part in raising this young boy to become a great man in the future. Blue is the sky, like the color of your eyes. It is my honor and privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. I now present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Adam Sandoval. Standing before our friends and family, being announced as husband and wife for the first time was absolutely exhilarating. And I could not wait to make a proper exit and begin the celebration. The descent down the stairs of our campground's new pavilion led us to a sea of smiling faces where hugs and handshakes were exchanged and the unmistakable feeling of love was in the air. As nighttime approached, the festivities began. Together, as Mr. and Mrs. Sandoval, surrounded by those most special to us, we ate, drank, and danced the night away. I and Ashley are both very thankful that all of you traveled through. Uh, so far away and even close to come spend this night with us. Yes, sir. You're up. Ronnie has known me since I was like, uh, how old was I, Ronnie? You were in eighth grade. I was in eighth grade. You were dating my big sister. Sir, yes, sir. And you've been married to her for how long now? 
28 years. 28 years. You did good, Tara. I love you. I would like to give a toast to these two because I think uh, Ashley is actually Adam's match <laughs> in more ways than one. These two are these two are fantastic together. Together, they're so much fun. I love you both. Thank I really you. do. Cheers. 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 And that, my friends, makes Ashley and I officially married. We did it right here at our own K River campground. Life has changed for me, y'all. I have gone from being a homeless biker, sleeping next to my bike on the streets of America, to having a beautiful campground, a wedding venue, a home, and now a wife with a very impressive stepson. Life could not be any better. I feel like this is a success story. The underdog who was uh, down and out, and really, I mean, I didn't have a lot to offer a woman at the time I met Ashley. And here she stood behind me, stood beside me uh, to create a life that frankly I'm pretty proud of and I think a future for our family. So thank you to all of you who have supported me out there through the years. I am absolutely honored to share this very special day with all of you out there. And uh, I just can't thank you enough for your support. You have truly made a difference in Ashley and my life. And I uh, am excited to see what we bring to the future. Ashley has really become uh, my partner in life, not just because we're married, but because we share some of the same passions. Of course, she never even had been on a motorcycle when she met me, and now she's a person I love traveling with on motorcycle road trips the most. Uh, to taking in this campground and the charity work that we do has now become a passion of hers. We're looking to build some more of these campgrounds in the future where we can offer more veterans free vacations and just building a strong family and helping support a strong community right here in America. I love you all so much. I love her dearly. Uh, I'm excited for my new life. I hope you all are excited for me and I hope you find this to be the exciting uh, underdog story that I feel it is in my heart. I said in a recent Instagram post that the spouse you choose can hold you down or lift you up. And I truly feel like I could fly. I don't think I could have found a more supportive, understanding, and inspirational woman than I did in Ashley Sandoval. I hope you enjoyed sharing this moment with me. And I just wanna close with a message that I haven't used quite enough lately. And I think it's super fitting for this video. And that is that anything is possible. No matter how hard life is for you today, there is light on the other side. All you have to do is dream until your dreams come true.